Have you ever dreamed up a great idea that you knew would make you a millionaire? One man's mm. dream is now becoming a reality. News Day's Lancaster County reporter Meredith Jorgensen spoke with him. In the garage of this pretty Millersville home, you'll find bikes, old trophies, some laundry, and this. The perfect straw maker. I mean, use it just like a normal straw. 33-year-old Jordan Baldridge is a husband, father of two, and an inventor. After burning himself on a hot cappuccino... As my tongue and roof of my mouth was completely scalded. Seven years ago, he dreamed of this. Many, 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 many prototypes later, it had slowly evolved. It had morphed into a straw shape. He built the machine that would make the straws. It's a little Frankenstein, but it is homemade in my garage, so bear with. But this creation was easy compared to getting a patent. Working on the patent for a long, long, expensive time. I think I was about $10,000 into it when I ran out of money, steam, starting to doubt myself. Then the call. Oh, my God, my knees were weak when I got the phone call from my attorney. Forget patent pending. The perfect straw is the real deal. The definition of warm and fuzzy. I mean, it really it couldn't have been any more bliss. But it could get better. What I hope happens now is um, Starbucks sees this and they give me $50 million and I go buy an island somewhere. Before um, he leaves yeah, for his really island, though, he has another hope. I would like it to be popular. People would like it. It would be uh, in demand and therefore it would grow on its own. With just a small depression and a little hole in the straw, added air cools the liquid before it hits your lips even boiling water. The inventor ensures me it works. Here's my chance. Amazing. In Lancaster County, I'm Meredith Jorgensen for News 8. That is amazing. She's braver than I am, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Jordan encourages other inventors not to get discouraged and not to give up. Now he's trying to sell the cooling straw to coffee shops and convenience stores. Jordan projects that he can make them 10 for a penny but would love to sell the idea for as much as he said, $50 million.